Aries, Aries. Okay. Your initial read was real quiet. This is kind of like the extended. You haven't extended on Patreon. This is like another extended for YouTube. Okay. Because it's like, whole, this, I can read this so many different ways. You're definitely dealing with a Scorpio energy. Okay. You're going to want to check out the Scorpio read. Because this is where that came in with that. Everybody being on the same page, but like resisting or sabotaging it. Okay. Regardless, I think something's going to come together for you. Here's the thing too though. Okay. I feel like <clears throat> your loss is a gain. I am going to tell you, you are dealing with somebody who shares the same values as you. It's getting on the same page. You're dealing with somebody who's extremely, um, probably spiritual because you guys are watching and you're spiritual or um, an atheist, but I almost said amethyst, so I don't know if you're vibing with purple, but... <sighs> You're dealing with someone who's extremely traditional, believe it or not. Someone who wants a traditional family. And I think you both are the same exact way. Because I can feel the stubbornness of like Taurus energy. Like, I'll wait for a sign from you. Like, don't, I, don't do that. Because you're dealing with somebody who has the same exact values as you. And it's like old-fashioned values. Still opening the door, you know. Very traditional values, but concepts are not in a traditional way, if that makes sense. But would still want a traditional marriage, family, life. You know, the house with the picket fence and the dog. I know that's a little cliche, but you that's the type of energy, okay? That's how you're vibing with somebody right now. The same exact morals, lifestyle. It, you, it's, you have it, okay? Over here, since the story changed so drastically, I think you could have been dealing with a third party or whatever this is. Something came in. You already delivered news because you want to go in a new direction. They could have turned their back. I don't know if you're dealing with somebody who's just focused on money because of all these pentacles. Okay. Um, and I don't know if they originally messed something up and, and you're waiting to hear from them because you're closing out a cycle. And instead of being on the same turf there's arguments okay and I do think some of you it has to do with the family dynamic and you going after new love and somebody is giving you a hard time that's normal okay but you do have a wish fulfillment you have the two of cups you have the nine of cups and then the ace of cups which the nine of cups and the Ace of Cups makes the Ten of Cups. It's not the family dynamic. You haven't had it yet. That's what you want. That's what you're going to get. Some of you, I'm telling you, um, it's like the it was a whole new vibe. It's almost like you're about to break the news. Or you already broke the news. Okay. And it's like you're waiting to hear from them. A family member, somebody you're arguing with. Um... To see what's next, maybe. I, I don't know. You might have to dish some money out in a settlement if you're married. But in the in the long run, it, it's still a gain on your end. Okay. Um, just be careful because I feel like you're dealing with somebody, a feminine. Especially if it was the karmic, right? Um... Or it could be a lawyer out of the blue. But you're dealing with somebody who knows how to emotionally manipulate. Okay. So that that sucks. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Okay. I don't know if he or she wanted a second chance. But is not doing much. So it is telling me it's a feminine that's not really doing anything. And it's, it's kind of bitter about a situation. Hermit, hangman, wheel of fortune. No, this is you wanting to, this is you for a message to somebody that you messed up. But something, again, how many cards of victory do my Aries have to have here? You have the chariot, you have like four cards of victory here. It's crazy. And then you have the wheel of fortune on your luck, on your side. So it's like right now you're not doing anything. That's why I said you might be dealing with a scorp. So, again, you might want to watch it. And I wouldn't bank on this chick or masculine reaching out to you. 
okay, because they want someone to come in and take charge. They're very traditional like that. But I feel like you're this, you have the same values. You're very traditional like that too. So don't expect somebody else to make the move, the same move that you want, but you're not doing. And I know that's like contradicting energy, but <clears throat> it's not really because apparently you're the one that needs to speak up because I can hear it in my throat. And if you're the one <clears throat> that messed things up and you know it because you're aware of it, then you need to be the one to go after it and not be stubborn. You're dealing with two people that are extremely stubborn. Others of you, like I said, the dynamic changed. You have to watch the extended to get the whole gist of it, but this is you waiting for somebody, the, the karmic, because right now you're arguing with them. And it's like being pissed. But don't, I, I don't think you're waiting on that. Yeah, see, it's like a, see, a family scenario. Somebody regrets it, but at the same time, it's like purge. You got to let it go. So if, here's the complication. I hope you're not blocking because this is one of these scenarios where there's a loss, but there's a major gain. So I, I hope you're not letting this stop you before you make your, ne your next move, especially if you're a masculine, because you're dealing with an energy that knows how to, look at that, emotionally manipulate situations, okay? Probably because there was a third party or too many, again, a third party. This is somebody who I'm telling you, it's just... It's just the whole vibe I'm getting off of this particular energy that definitely knows how, yeah, see, trying to avoid it and definitely knows how to emotionally manipulate, okay? So be careful because I know at one point there's lots of love, okay? There's a family dynamic, but there's, there's lies, there's deception, there's people trying to avoid certain things. This is emotional manipulation. Okay. So if you're waiting on them before you make your next move, I hope you don't lose something. A majority of you will not because you have victory like three or four times. Anna came out a couple more times. But you got to make the right move. Right now you're arguing. These are hidden messages from the truth. This could, you know, someone who like does feel bad that they messed everything up. But still, it was karmic. Okay. It doesn't mean you guys can work it out. You'll work it out in a different way. It's going to take time. You're arguing because there was a family dynamic and now there's a situation that involves a new scenario. So I just wanted to read that a different way for you guys because that didn't come in and it was until Patreon, but it was a drastic shift. So, and, and that makes sense that I felt it because it's so clear. It's like having to release, but man, that they're just the arguing, causing problems, fight. But see, the tower's here. This this could have been something that could have already been resolved, and it didn't. And that's why you got lies, deception, fear, tower moments. The universe will come in and and, and make sure it crashes down. Will make sure you guys realize you're not happy together. If someone's emotionally manipulating you, they will make sure that comes to light too. Okay, so you got a new phase. You're rekindling with someone or something, and it's sudden, it's out of the blue, but you're making the right choice. It's it's faded, okay? It's destined, and it, it's like, here comes the change. 
Remember I said you were going to blow someone's mind? I think, you, I think you're each blowing everyone's mind right now. Okay. And yeah, it was the emperor needing to wrap something up, but also was kind of feeling stuck in a situation and not picking up on a lesson, but then realizing lesson learned. There's still more here, but at the end of the day, that balance is coming. It's almost like, I don't know if you couldn't do it yourself. It's like forced balance. Worried about somebody else's judgment before you move forward. Don't do that. Don't stop yourself. Because you do have something unconditional here. And I think you're seeing something. I think you're seeing someone's attitude or the way somebody, like you're seeing something or you've been seeing something, but now you're really getting a dose. Like this person it was trying so long to avoid you moving forward. Yeah, see? this That other energy was so against you moving forward. Literally, they don't even know what to do with themselves, but it was for, all for the wrong reasons. What they were holding on to was the wrong reasons. And you want to you wanna think of, um, yeah, I was just going to ask, self-worth. Um, you know, again, wrong reasons. Lack of self-worth. Not having self-worth. A tough dynamic. Your energy was a lot more calmer. But it was definitely two sides of the story when I went to Patreon. So I figured I'd share that other side with you. If you have an opportunity for new love, take it. Stop letting somebody interfere in something that looks to be unconditional. It's like completing each other. You know? Um... I don't see how you can mess that one up, though. I'm not going to lie. You might need a little work. Rebuilding, working on it. I saw ascending. So, missing you, unsure of the future. Yearning. Okay, so it's like wanting it back. Being lighthearted, finding out, adapting, change, and healing. I like you, someone likes you. You know, fun, blooming. It's, it, it's bringing something back to life. That song just came to me. Bring me back to life. So, right? You, is that Eminem? It's, you want to bring something back to life. Okay? So be real careful. Especially if there's games being played right now. For the all for the wrong reasons. And not on your end per se. Whatever your whatever chapter you're closing, be careful. I I know a lot of you don't want to see it, but it, it's it's energy that was literally keeping you charmed, using you for the wrong reasons. I I don't know how else to explain it. And not all of you. But some of you. And you're going to start seeing someone's true colors. Yeah, see the karmic. I asked about the girl and the snake. It, it just... It's, it's like you just didn't want to see it. I hope you're starting to see it. But the thing is, she didn't want to see you over here. And you can't stop that. You just... You can't. Okay. So, this already just went down. Or it's about to go down and you're big time arguing with this person. You know, they could be using family. But it, this is emotional manipulation. I, I hope you see that. I really do. They're the ones that keep avoiding... Didn't want to see it, but they knew it. This is someone who kept you, charmed you. You probably thought you were charming them. You probably thought you were playing them or whatever you were doing. I'm telling you, you didn't see it. And I think you see it now. 
and this person saw it and kept blocking something that can't be blocked. Kept scooting this one on the outside. Family first, this first, that first. I'm telling you. Some people, it might not be as harsh, but there's some people here, girl with a snake, purposely charmed you and, and made sure that you put those boundaries up. And what they didn't realize is that this is unconditional love. You, you can't stop that. You just, you can't, okay? So, and I don't know. Maybe you guys are arguing. The truth hasn't been told yet. It's going to come out. If you're still avoiding telling the karmic what the deal is, things are just going to get worse and worse and worse. So I hope you're not doing that. And I hope all my fire signs actually watch this because if I'm coming back and Aries got the first one and then I came back and did a second one, you know, so... I hope this sums it up. Going after something new. Having something new. New love. You know, this one is just going to have to deal. You know, it sucks to say it like that. We all been through pain and heartache. We all dealt. Karmic situations never end up good. You will eventually find the one you're meant to be with. But the scales are being balanced. You got victory. So you have to be doing something right. So don't don't backtrack. Don't doubt what you're feeling. Again, if you're dealing with a Scorpio or someone's got a lot of Scorpio in their chat, be careful because you're dealing with somebody who probably this person that you guys have the same amount of love for with a giant heart but loves a traditional union, traditional concept. And especially if he or she is spiritual, you probably would not even look at this person as wanting something traditional. But you do have the same values and morals. Okay? So, you know, regardless at the end of the day, this is victory. There's a victory going in your direction, but it's also in the midst of chaos. And don't doubt what you feel. Feel if you if you feel like you're just gonna go and do it, then go and do it. Do what needs to be done here. The whoever these messages are for, it's, it's you know what the scenario is. This wouldn't be like I don't have a clue on what he or she is talking about. And you know, it's, it's it won't be like that. You'll know exactly what this is. Okay. So it, it, you are going through. So this is tough. It's like you're going through a heartache, but it's freedom from a toxic relationship. Toxic. It was unhealthy. I don't know how long you held on for, but how many times are you going to sew your little hat back up? And then you got somebody who's got a big ass fucking giant heart. You could be dealing with a healer because that came out. It's very healing energy. Some of you are definitely dealing with a healer that came out on Patreon. You, you know when you're with a natural healer, your, your energy, your soul. And healers need that soul connection with somebody else that heals them because all they do is fucking heal. <laughs> so I'm telling you, like, be real careful. It's all going to happen over this moon cycle. All right? It's, it's coming to light. Or it's like right after. Just be honest. You're gonna push through. You're all gonna, you're all gonna push through. You're gonna bring you, you're, you're coming back to life. Bring me back to life. Anywhoosie. Whew. Love you guys.